Hey yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to the Atletico Madrid Beta Save where I played one game in between. By the way, I won't be doing every single game on YouTube in case that wasn't clear already. Yes, so I've played the one game between the last episode and the first Champions League group game, which was away at Valencia, which in fairness is a fairly big game to have not shown you, but it got a little bit busy otherwise because the game that follows Salzburg in the Champions League is Barcelona. Salzburg and Barcelona taking over Valencia and Sal uh, Salzburg in that sense. So 1-0 scored in the second minute. Absolute banger if I'm honest. Yeah it got went a little bit quiet after that. Although there is one thing to quickly mention here and it kind of proves my point about getting Jordi Alba in a little bit. Following the international break Savage was very tired and Felipe was injured, so Hermoso had to step in at centre-back. And thank God for having Jordi Alba, because that allowed him to do that freely. I know we have another left-back, but oh, it feels a lot lot easier to be able to do move Hermosa in there when you've already got a, an even better left-back available to you beforehand. So that's, that's wonderful on that front. Otherwise, team's all fine. We're all good. I don't think there's actually any issues for this Salzburg match. Okay, well, Juventus have laid down the gauntlet for us there. Good God. Now, it is, of course, worth mentioning the Barcelona game is on the Sunday, so there is a reasonable gap between these two. So, we can go reasonable strength on this one now. Uh, there is an injury to... Sorry, there is an injury. There is an injury to Lamar. He's only out for two days. He's actually technically back already, but he's not fighting fit for the game. So, we will leave him out. We have promoted Doku to the first team. Just to be on the bench, just so we have a winger available to us. Whether or not to have Arias or Lodi on the bench is another question that we have to ask ourselves. We can always move Hermosa outwards if we need to, so I think Har uh, Arias makes more sense to be uh, on the bench. Right? And then keeping Savage as a centre-back option. Otherwise, we can go absolutely full strength. I think I may start with Haaland for this one, which is a little bit unfortunate, considering the opponent. Uh, and actually, with that in mind, I will actually just let Saul uh, stick. Actually, I will start Arias rather than Trippier as well. That's something I'll do. I'm actually going to play Hermoso rather than go for Savage. In fact, I might play Savage rather than Jimenez. Just to weaken it a little bit, but not too much. We've got plenty of good players. So yes, uh, both these games are at home. They're playing the 4-2-2-2 formation. I went cocky on the team talk. It didn't seem to work initially, and wow, that has really not done anything. Wow, they could not care less. I need to turn these tunnel things off. Uh, Lamar's not playing because he was injured, not because he's tired. Um, but he's tired because he was injured, if that makes sense. It's not rotation for rotation's sake. It's a necessary rotation. He's on 83% fitness. And this is 54 seconds into the match, by the way. 1-0. Anything you Juventus can do, we can do better. <laughs> Apparently. But yeah, Arias just popped it in with Hal Felix. Just, yep, there we go. Probably been asking how wrong. There's probably some intonation with the... Most has taken a knock, apparently. Shakhtar and Inter are winning their respective matches against Munich and Genk, wherever their opponents are between the two. Where is this ball going? Because it's kind of bopping back and forth a little bit. Oof, smashes that over the bar. Whatever that guy's name was. Ong... Ongurine? Rene? Arias, Felix... Sort of. Correa <laughs> gets it. Nope! Correa had it! Daka. There's plenty of space, but sort of closed off, forced to go backwards. Pongratic. A nightmare. Gwinginja. Gwinginja. Why can they not have easier player names? Please. Ongwene. They are passing this around with annoying confidence. This is probably going to go outwards. It does to the easy to pronounce Ulmer. Minamono. Switched all the way across. Jordi Alba nabs it. I must say, I've seen Jordi Alba be rather good on the old tackling front so far. He's been very good at nabbing the ball, which, you know, as a defender is important. But fullback's defensive capabilities in general, I've never really been overawed with. It's more their sort of ability to get forward. You kind of see, at the very least, in highlights. You never really see the defensive capabilities of the fullbacks for the most part. I've seen Alba's, that's for certain so far. Kari makes it two, by the way. In case that wasn't obvious, as. One ball all the way across. So glad they're doing. I think I've kind of got it on standard passing. I don't think I even have it on short passing. Deep free kick for Salzburg. Without the Haaland to aim for. Falls onto the head of Andre Ramelow. 
Badlands has a shot. Couriers has a shot. I do like the recent event thing. Um, I might put it on something different. I'm, I haven't quite decided what I want in the middle this year. Give it up. I'll have their formation on for now. Obviously, once they get a skin, those things may move around a little bit. Um, I normally have try to have the opponent's formation on there. So I'll, I'll have it on this one as well. Um, in terms of league play, I would normally have the... I would normally have the scores on there as well for the league. But oh, how long is space? Bankovic does well. Although it was smashed directly at him. That's well, 2 0. Two thirds of the game gone. They could get a. No. They haven't knocked one back yet. 2 0 is a little bit dangerous for me. FM can still ruin you from this point. Most of it was actually proper injured. But it never really told me to take him off. But I'll let him come off now. I really just reckon if, if he's been injured the entire time, I've already just noticed it, which is bad management. The issue is Felix because I don't have because I don't have a straight up attacking midfielder backup off the bench. Felix does end up getting tired quite easily, and that, that's the kind of problem. I mean, Vitolo is the one that kind of goes in there for the most part, but he's having to start this much. And good God, that was a goal. It is worth mentioning there is no end of game highlight. So if there isn't a highlight at the end of the game, then it means there's something happening. It's not just seeing the timeout. But Jesus, where did that come from? Oh, from November. Like what on? Didn't even look. But there's another highlight immediately worries me, because like I say, there's no end of game highlight. So this is something. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Out to Correa, but that's not intercepted. God. Arias keeps it in, just about. That will end on their head, but I think Party's going to get under it. Yes, he does indeed. Jimenez, backwards. I'm slightly worried where this is going, but something's going to happen here. And it kind of worries me how high they're pressing. But Correa has got on the end of this. He surely won't shoot from here. Just, just do dodges? No, he doesn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Daka. Get it off him. Get it off him. Get it off him. He didn't get it off him. Why is he in space? Why has he been allowed to run up the pitch? He's done him. Are you absolutely kidding me? Are you genuinely kidding me right now? I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to say the whole substituting Bayer thing is a myth, but admittedly it's not the substitute that's made, fouled up there, but... Are you genuinely kidding me right now? Game. Are they actually going to take the bloody penalty or not? Oh, thank God for that. <sighs> that was unnecessary. Continuing the highlight. This is annoying me now. Can we get the ball off them, please? If they actually score from this, I'm going to be even more annoyed if they score from not the penalty. Force them back, get the ball, hoof it forward. I'm actually going to say that was a let-off. They're confused. It was a genuine let-off from what happened in the end, but Shakhtar beat Bayern. Wasn't even into that beat Bayern. Wow, okay. Some of the big boys are uh, tripping up. Well, I'll see you for Barcelona. Other half of the Champions League, mostly expected. Draw from Real Madrid about the most of the upset, but still Bayern's a solid team. Actually, I just want to take one moment to highlight something. I feel like best performers training-wise seems to rotate a lot more. I don't know if it's just because I've just taken over and they're slowly inching upwards in general. The general training ratings seem to be getting higher overall, so maybe there's a little bit of jostling for top, top position. But for the most part, I don't feel like I've had anyone be at the top for more than two weeks in a row. Rather personally, Barcelona are actually marginal favourites for this one, despite being away from home which says everything about the standard at the very top of La Liga, really. But, never mind. The good news is we can be basically full strength. I have, I should double-check, really, which is better out of Savage and Felipe, um, because I'm not sure if we are, technically are playing a backup defender right now or not. But we have been using Felipe up till now, so maybe well worth double-checking when Felipe returns who is actually better. However... If we can go basically full strength, the only minor thing is obviously Hermoso also took it up last week, so Lodi goes on the bench instead of him. 
That's the only real main change other than Savage. Everyone's pretty much nice and fit and ready to go. But yeah, so this is the slightly less aggressive version of the 4-2-3-1. Uh, same formation, just uh, less attacking roles and a little bit less attacking on the old instructions in general. I will go passionate. I don't normally go passionate at home. It's Barcelona, so let's go passionate at home. It's worth noting, actually, the next match is Celta Vigo, who is... I'm going to turn this off. Uh, Celta Vigo, who are currently third, so... Or well, Messi is marginally injured, so that could benefit us. It is never mind. I was about to say there's a highlight immediately, but there's actually six minutes on the clock, and I would have been so annoyed if Junior Furbo scored, considering what I said about him last episode. So far, it seems to be relatively even. We have had a lot of possession in the opening stages, apparently, but we are only six minutes in. Yeah, the fact there's no highlight in the beginning does throw you off a little bit, especially if you're on sort of fast outside of the highlights, because it just <whistles> zooms to basically the first highlight you see. Uh, yeah, I should go a little bit shorter against Barcelona. I do agree with that. Maintain the ball, get the ball forward, get it in the box, take the shots when they rise. They are slowly turning the screw backwards on us now. That's not good. Can we demand a little more? No, we've got a free kick, though. I won't demand more until the free kick is taken. Morata scored. That's four goals in four league games. No. Did he score? No, he didn't score against Valencia. It's four, four league goals in five league games. But wonderful free kick over to the other side. Morata, oof, to Stegen. Maybe he should have done better. Who knows? I, don't want, I can't demand anymore now because we've scored. First, he Lenglet hoofs it from deep, but he doesn't hoof it at all. Passes it close to Firpo. We sort of hurry him over to the opposite side. This might get intercepted. It does indeed by Lamar. Uh, Morata is there to make it 5 out of 5. Well, at the very least, I can absolutely say we are taking our chances, which is honestly something I never really get to say in Football Manager. There's often lots of shots, but very few go in for us when we play. And is it me or else? Why was my icon the football there briefly? But never mind. Morata scores. 2-0. Two, Two goals. Rats is 5 out of 5. Casual reminder, I think he has 12 finishing. There's a highlight just before half time. Uh, Ob Black plays it short. Of course, that's a thing this year. You can play it within your own box. And that has been highlighted in Football Manager. We are passing this round quite nicely. Um, hmm. I shouldn't speak, really, should I? This is a minute before half time. This will probably get back into the box quite nicely. Although it has gone all the way to Roberto on the opposite side. Okay, slightly less concerned as Lamar charges up the pitch in the final minute of the first half by the looks of things. Literally charged the entire pitch. Apparently they were classing that attempt as a shot. Not sure it was, if I'm honest. And I think it only got a highlight from the fact he ran the entire pitch. They do seem to treat long runs as highlights in general. Passionately say, keep it going lads. I wanted to say don't get complacent, but apparently you can't do that passionately. I don't know why. Plus they never really understand... Oh, well, that's one thing I want to check out, really. I wish I could have done it then, but I really want to find out if teams finally understand the term don't get complacent. Actually, I've just realised, halves don't start with highlights anymore. That was going to be something. It was a shot from Messi. That's, that's what that was. I have tweaked the corner routine, by the way, to match the sort of more seemingly more formidable version I was using with Burnley. Um, it was one I acquired as a, as a template, but Short corners seem to be slightly more effective uh, last year's at the very least during the Burnley save. So I have implemented them here as well. This highlight continues. I have no idea where it's going. Nowhere was the answer, but it does immediately resume from the resulting throw in. Correa. Inwards to Saul, who smashed it in in a previous episode. Not this time. Correa seems to post. That's where that ended up. I was so engrossed in what was going on with a little dance between Furpo and Felix, I was slightly worried one of them was going to about to get sent off. Because they're both booked. As is Saul now. Vidal. Rakitic. Burnley player, of course. Weird sentence. And not really understanding, unless you watched my Burnley save on Twitch, really. Yeah, we're crowd Rakitic in that. Thank you for that giant wall of green there to distract me. Marat makes it a hat-trick. He's onside because he was well behind the last defender there. Just behind the uh, Lamar, more importantly. Oh, he's done a perfect hat trick as well. Header 1 2. Left foot, right foot. Nice. I mean, not going to get an easier tap in, let's be honest. But yeah, he's behind Lamar, let alone the defenders. So, 
again, maybe to stay can do better. I'm not sure. We're going to see this a third time. Uh, that must have been in terms of Lamar getting on the end of it. We couldn't even see Lamar on that. They've taken Messi off. He was injured, in fairness. We are still doing quite well fitness-wise, in general. Uh, everyone's still over 70%, which is nice. Can you train natural fitness? I really assume not. Can you train stamina at the very least? Because Felix does tend to get the most tired. and He's probably the one player who can't really rotate out the easiest. Uh, Griezmann's well through here. I don't know if he was offside or not, but Oblak stops that from going in. Alba hoofs it away. There's a highlight, but I'm going to make a change. Because Courier is the most tired right now, so... I'm going to make the one for now. I think it is a full week before the next match. I'm not entirely certain. Wagay. Wag Wagway. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce his name. I, I do apologise. Any fans of Barca? That went straight through. Is Murata going to score four goals in one game? Nope. You know what? 15 minutes to go. Let's give him a stand of ovation, shall we? It seems the right thing to do, to be honest, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's only annoying the players we got in depth uh, for in terms of the attacking players were, so, you know, Maria and Doku, what players who aren't anywhere near first team level just yet, because we still need to be able to rotate them inwards. And the major problem here is I, I would ha I'd be happy to play them, but the teams that we're playing are all at the top end at the moment. I, w I absolutely wouldn't mind just starting them against lower-sided opposition in the league at the very least, but against, I mean, Celta Vigo, who are third as of going into this weekend, I don't know where they are now. So one thing I do know is party, party does enjoy running up and down quite a lot. That's headed back outwards. I'm intrigued where this is going. De Jong, PK. No, Lamar's gone under it. But Haaland's going to get... No, he isn't. I was thinking Haaland was going to get the first, but Lamar's got it. And Haaland is ahead of his defender. There's still one to deal with. If he can hold the ball up and maybe get it... No, never mind. Well, in sort of 60 seconds after that last highlight ended, it ended up with... Oblak, somehow. They basically went up the entire pitch and got it to them. Now, Jimenez should be underneath that ball. He is. Koke. Lamar has done their right back and got onto the end of that ball. Roberto has tackled Lamar in the box. They're looking at it. It might be a penalty. It might be a sending off. Good job Morata wasn't searching for a hat trick right now. Otherwise, he'd be very mad because he could have completed it otherwise. But while we wait for... <sighs> This was the one big change I wanted. Just cutting out. Cutting out this bit of faff. It's 20 seconds. That's completely unnecessary. 30 seconds even. Running back onto the pitch. What's the decision? Oh, it's a penalty. What a surprise. Well, that's a minute of my life I'm not getting back. Lamar's going to take it. Really should have been Harlan, but we might need to sort out penalty takers. Don't know who's technically better. 4-0. Somehow we have managed to beat Barcelona by the same margin as we did Betis. Was it? I forgot who it was now already. I fairly something with Betis. Lamar. There we are. Done. 4 0. And to be honest, in terms of expected goals from the game, we don't know what they are because they haven't included that as a metric. The game was fairly even. We just scored four goals out of the nine shots on target. So, a lot more possession though. I'm going to be passionate and I'm going to be very happy with the way they played. Because it's Barcelona. Oh, Vigo is like two days away, actually. Patrick done. And we stay to stop as a result. Real Madrid are joining the party. Finally. And Villarreal on fourth. So, oh, this all looks fairly normal and standard again, doesn't it? Villarreal, Valencia, one's fighting it out for fourth. Oh, it's kind of a little bit dull already after five games at the top of the table, but... Alright, Valencia beats Sociedad, and I'm guessing that means Vigo didn't win. They didn't. Um, okay, fair enough. Well, next time will be a little bit more of a gap, because, rather annoyingly, they have put Real Madrid away, and Juventus away, next to each other. So, that will probably be the next episode, is these two here, and... I'm not really sure, because now obviously all the big boys have disappeared a little bit. There is Sevilla here, I guess. Uh, and obviously the last group gauge of group game of Group B is going to be something important, at the very least. So, yeah. 
It's a little awkward in terms of what we're going to do. Real Madrid and Juventus, obviously, the next episode, and then where it goes after that is entirely dependent on the results in, in the Champions League, basically. If this last game against Lille matches, we'll probably see that. If it doesn't, then we'll probably see this one, essentially. Um, we'll find out near the time, I guess. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching these. Until next time, ta -ra.